Hey, you want to know about Charleston, South Carolina before you actually take that leap and move to Charleston? Well, I'm going to tell you a few things about Charleston that you may not know about. So I talk to a lot of people about moving to Charleston. I work with a lot of out of town buyers and a lot of out of town people move to Charleston and they tell me they weren't aware of certain things before they moved here. I'm going to tell you a few things about Charleston that you may not be aware of. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you comment because I reply to all my comments. So one of the things that people tell me about that they weren't aware of was the fact that you could have four seasons in one day. Yes, Charleston, we have great weather here. It's definitely very hot in the summertime and January is our only really cold month. But some days we can have all four seasons in one day. You can start out in the 40s early morning and by nine o'clock be in the 50s, 60s, and by one o'clock you could be in the high 80s. So I always tell people, make sure you check your weather before you leave your home because you could start out in a scarf hat and in a jacket, but by one o'clock you may be in flip-flops, t-shirt, and a short. So always check your weather before you leave your home. So another thing that people told me they weren't aware of before moving to Charleston is the no see -ums. There are flying insects that are tiny, about one and sixteenth of an inch, and you barely see them before they bite you, but they hurt. They bite hard and they hurt. And they fly in swarms, so they will attack you and you wouldn't even know it. You wouldn't even have seen it. So people tell me all the time, oh my God, where do these things come from? They're known as flying teeth, no see uh, flying, ants i mean they have a flu of nicknames but you will definitely know of them if you're here in charleston because they are here and they bite they bite harder than mosquitoes we do have mosquitoes but these no see they're even more dangerous because you do not see them they can actually go through window screens and door screens to get in your house so be prepared for those because they're coming protect yourself protect your children because they will come after you here in Charleston. So another thing that people tell me they weren't aware of here in Charleston is the alligators, the gators, yes. We have gators here. And sometimes they walk the streets to get from one pond to the next. They love sunbathing, so they hang out on the sides of ponds and lakes and uh, when it's a nice sunny day. So you will see them out just minding their own business, out by ponds, out by lakes, and sometimes they will walk the streets, like I said, to get to other areas. But we have a lot of gators here. They're everywhere and they're not pets. We don't play with them. We don't bother them. We stay clear away from them. Um, it's normal. We see them all the time. So a lot of people tell me they weren't aware of the gators population here in Charleston, South Carolina. So something to think about, but we're used to them here. <laughs> so another thing that people tell me they weren't aware of before moving to Charleston is something we call the love bugs. The love bugs are black with a orange head and they're always attached to each other because they're mating. They only come out around March and September and they their lifespan is really short, but they're always mating and they could lay up to 600 eggs. So it's plenty of them when they come out. They swarm you, they're everywhere. They're in the front of your cars because when you're driving, you're hitting them, it's so many of them. And um, a lot of people weren't aware that we had um, the love bugs. And like I said, they come out in March and April and they don't um, hang around long. So two months out of our 12 month year, we are swamped with love bugs here in Charleston. And last but not least, cockroaches. Now I'm not talking about the little itty bitty ones that you have when you're not clean in your house or you're not clean and sanitary, but I'm talking about the big, large cockroaches, palmetto bugs, whatever you wanna call them. We have them, we have them here, and some of them even fly. Yes, they fly. So this is something that we're just used to here in Charleston. We are used to having them, we're used to seeing them, stay clear away from them because they are irritating. And like I said, they do fly some of them. 
but don't mistake it for the ones, the little smaller ones that are when you aren't clean in your house because they're not the same ones. Well, that's all I have for you at this moment. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions about any of the content in this video, or if you have questions about Charleston, South Carolina, I'm born and raised here, so I can answer any questions you have. Call me or text me or comment below in this video and I'll reach out to you. I comment on all of my videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also like this video. I'm Carmela Renee with Keller Williams Realty and thank you for watching.